Hi guys, my name is Davide, online known as GOAT. Welcome to the 17th devlog of Stack Up. The holidays are now over and we are back to the regular schedule. In this video I'll go through the latest changes and update when to try a demo with the new game features. But before, a quick thanks to Kreltz for one of his latest videos where he showed this channel in 10 Undiscovered Indie Game Developers Part 2. There's a games developer creating a game called Stack Up in Unity. The game is incredibly polished and has demo builds released on Steam already. The game is a fast-paced platformer game in which you grab and place props that fall from the sky to stack them up. The water rises from the drain. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description, go check him out. Let's start talking about the category system that we introduced a while ago. We thought it would have been a nice idea, with the addition of a core mechanic to improve the gameplay variety. But overall, after playing a bit and trying the game with this feature, we were not so sure anymore if it was a nice idea. Mainly because of the graphical impact. The Autoland effect is a bit too much and it isn't that quick to understand as we thought. It also doesn't blend well with the rest of the scene. So we decided to remove this as it didn't feel that good of an idea anymore. Some minor changes have been made to the icons for the power-ups. To increase the visibility, now they have a grayscale background so that it's easier to understand when an effect is about to expire. A new special object is on the work. We are iterating a lot over it because we had various ideas on its behavior. What you're seeing is the first version of an object spawner. It's a special box that will spawn three 1 x 1 times 1 items. Because we were not so sure about this design, we came up with this model. It is still static, but for the next week it will be animated. While I was on holiday, the two 3D modelers started working on the concept for the player model and we're getting close to a really nice Bob the Builder style player. This is the current version. The face feels a bit empty and not that characteristic and we're now trying to find more details to add to him for a more personalized look. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. This player will be used in the multiplayer mode that at first will be a 4 players versus mode. In here every person will build his own tower to run away from water. The last one to survive wins. This is what I'll be mainly developing in the next few weeks, while also polishing the game and the current single player mode. In the last couple of days I've spent a lot of time thinking about the best framework to use for this game. I was firstly thinking about Mirror as it was a really well optimized and updated framework, but there were too many issues related to it. So I decided to go back to something I have a bit of experience with, Pan 2. The cool thing is that with Pan's architecture it will be way easier than expected to port the multiplayer mode for the Nintendo Switch. Since the demo of Stack Up, many things have changed based on your feedback and on what we thought was good for the project. We are happy to say that in October there will be a new Steam Game Festival. For the Autumn Edition you will be able to try the demo for a couple of days. I'll keep you updated about the event in the next weeks. For this I will also try to rework the trailer in order to show a more properly updated version of the game. The multiplayer won't be included in the demo, but the single player mode will be as you're looking at it now. Because the next weeks will be boring with the devlogs due to changes being just code related stuff and multiplayer things, I don't know if I release a devlog. If you're interested I could do a more technical one. Let me know in the comments. I think it's all for this week. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like and wishes the game on Steam. See you next week. Maybe.